Today's lecture is going to be very important because we are going to learn addition of fractions. Addition of fractions is a concept where usually students do mistakes. Most of the students who are afraid of maths, their fears start from this topic. That is why this topic is very important. Addition of fractions will be covering two types of questions. Let me give you one example. Like one question is 1 over 2 plus 3 over 2. Let's suppose this is the question. It is having same denominator. Having same denominators is very easy for students. They understand it well. But the problem lies when denominators are different. So we will be covering both the cases in today's video. And I'll try my best that every student would be able to understand. Let us start when denominator is same. See, rule is very easy. When denominator is same, then you need not to do anything. This 2 and 2 is same. Just keep this 2 as it is in the denominator and add the numerators. Like 1 and 3 will be added. 1 plus 3 is 4. We get 4 over 2. Yes, this 4 and 2 can be reduced to lowest form and your final answer is 2. This concept is very easy for all because denominators are same. So where does the problem lies? Problem lies when denominators are not same. Let me give you an example. Let's suppose it is 1 over 2 plus 3 over 4. That is where students start facing problems. And we are going to start from the basic. The main problem while adding these fractions is denominator is not same. So whatever the problem we have, let us find solution to that. And solution is if denominators are not same, make them same then. If denominators are not same, then make them same. How can you make them same? See, this is 4 already. Can I make this 2 as 4? Yes, I can. Then do it. What we need to do? Just multiply this denominator and numerator both by 2. That's it. That means write equivalent fraction of 1 by 2 with the denominator 4. Because I know that this 2 can be made 4 by multiplying by 2. But you cannot multiply only denominator. If you are multiplying denominator, that means you need to multiply numerator as well. And it becomes 2 over 4 plus 3 over 4. Now when denominators are same, you have got the same situation as earlier. That means you can just write denominator 4 and can add them. And 2 plus 3 will give me 5. It is 5 by 4. See, it has become very easy now. So main point to keep in mind is that we, if denominators are not same, we will be make, making denominator same. Few students or few people do it with the shortcuts also. They directly write this step. They can also do it. That is not wrong. But the point is why I am keeping this basic in mind so that each and every student has their concept clear that how and why it is being done. If this concept is clear, believe me, in mathematics, many students will not be afraid then. Let us take few more examples to make the concepts more clear. Let me take one simple example as of now, then we'll come to difficult examples as well. Let's suppose we have one question, 2 over 3 plus 5 over 6. See now, if we do the practice of the same type of question, we know that 3 can be made 6. So no need to do anything with the 6. Just multiply it by 2. What will we get? I will get 4 by 6. Plus 5 over 6. Right? And 4, then 6 denominator. 4 and 5 are added. 4 plus 5 is 9. And now they can be reduced to lowest form. You will get 3 over 2 as an answer. See, this is not difficult now. If you know the basic concept, that is why I say basics of mathematics must be clear. 
motive of our page is to clarify the basic concepts of the students. Now, once you are clear with this question, then let me take another question with different example. For example, we have 1 over 6 plus 1 over 9. Why I am taking this example now? Because 6 and 9, both numbers. In my previous examples, you were just multiplying one denominator, other one was remaining same. Right? But now 6 and 9, if comes, then what to do? You need to take LCM of 6 and 9. LCM of 6 and 9. LCM of 6 and 9 means least common multiple. Smallest number which is divisible by 6 and 9 both. If anyone is having any problem in finding out LCM, just send a message in the comment box. I'll send you the link of the related video. Now, what is the LCM of 6 and 9? It is 18. So, I get an idea that let us make denominator 18. Whatever their LCM is, whatever their LCM is, we are going to make denominator that one itself. Now, their 6 and 9 LCM is 18. My aim is to make denominator 18 now. See here, if 6 is there, multiply 6 with 3. But do remember, you will multiply numerator also with the same value. Then, 9 will be multiplied with 2, 1 will also be multiplied by 2. That is how we will make denominator 18. Right? Once you have made denominator same, your task is very easy now. 3 plus 2 becomes 5. So it is 5 over 18. See, this is not difficult. It is very easy. Now, once we will have learned that after taking LCM, we need to make denominator same. Now, I am coming to the top point where we can use shortcut also. We can avoid doing these two steps directly, this step, how it can be written. Let us have a look here. See the same question I am doing. When LCM, I have found my LCM is 18. What you need to do, you know that you want to make this 6, 18. You want to make this 9, 18. After making them 18, what will you do? You will write 18 in the denominator, right? In the third step, this is what it was happening. So what I can do, if my LCM is 18, why to waste time? Directly write the last step, write 18 in the denominator, right? This can be done easily. Now, what you need to think, you need to think in the same way as we learned in the basic, that if you want to make this denominator 18, 6 should be multiplied with which value? 3. We are not doing it, but keep it in mind that yes, 6 was to be multiplied by 3 to get 18. But you were not multiplying only denominator. You were multiplying with 3 or with the same number in the numerator also. So just multiply 1 with 3 in your mind. 1 multiply 3 is 3. Write 3 here. And 9 was to be multiplied by 2 to get 18. That means you need to multiply numerator with 2. 1 multiplied 2 is 2. You can avoid doing all the steps. This is also correct. In the shortcut it can be done. But same calculation needs to be done in the mind. Whatever the LCM is coming, write LCM as a denominator. And we are not multiplying the denominator now, but with the same number I need to still multiply numerators to directly get this step. We are going to do last question of today's video. I hope you are clear with the basic concept of addition of fractions. Let me write one example. Let's suppose we have 2 over 9 plus 5 over 12. Let's suppose we have this 9 and 12. Now, firstly, we should know what is the LCM of 9 and 12. LCM of 9 and 12. Yes, LCM of 9 and 12 will come out to be 36 if you try to solve. I have already told if you don't know how to find LCM, please send me the message. I'll send you the related link of the video. Now, whatever the LCM is, just keep that as a denominator directly I have written. 
Now, 9 multiply 4 gives me 36. So, multiply 2 with 4 now. 2 times 4 is 8. Directly I can write. 12 times 3 is 36. I know that. Multiply 5 with 3, you will get 15. You need not to write this multiplication 4 multiply 3. That is, I have written just for your understanding. You can do it in mind. So, what is 15 plus 8? 15 plus 8 is 23. So, your final answer is going to be 23 over 36. I hope this concept is clear to all. And after watching this video, now addition of fraction is not a problem for any student. If you like the video, then please share it as well. Thank you so much.